Yes. Welcome to the Sales Acceleration Show. And I have a brand new guest. And he's a specialist in everything that has to do with teams, technology, HR. You hate HR. People, People. is the right word. Mm -hmm. So, Bruce, welcome to the show. And today I want to talk about a topic that keeps coming back, which is how on earth do you build a great, the best sales team? An interesting one. An interesting one and not an easy one. And I believe scale is always in people and, and, and in processes. Mm -hmm. And of course, but let's, let's stick with the people. You share your vision. How, how, do you, how on earth do you start building a sales team? I mean, a proper one. Yeah. Uh, where do you start? There's no one magic answer to say you need to start there. Uh, for me, uh, you, need to find, you need to find people who are firstly really motivated to sell the thing they need to sell. A lot of salespeople, I find in my experience, just are salespeople that are not always acquainted to, I need to sell this product or this technology or this uh, piece. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's firstly very important. So How do you figure out? That's true, the conversations when you recruit people. It's very important to recruit the right salespeople. Because the, the problem you always have is this, and with the years, you develop kind of a, a bullshit detector. But in the beginning, I had no clue. And they would sell themselves really well. Yeah. And then the first day they start, they would say, oh, I'm already done with this job. And I, what the... So there it really starts. Yeah. It is extra difficult to interview and recruit salespeople because they sell. <laughs> and they sell themselves. So what I do is the following. I make sure that at least four people, four, four, at least four, there is one other salesperson and it's 360. Typically the, the boss or the manager or the leader of that person, mm. a HR people person, and then another person they will work with, a team member, or it can be a more technical profile that they will have to work with when they do sales and pre-sales. Mm -hmm. That's the least. And those four people, not in a sequence, you do them all the four, on the same day ask. and only after uh, they have seen like the a person gated, has seen the a gated uh, yeah, yeah not so not a gated like you know, first need to pass gate one uh, no yeah. you want to have the four people giving their opinion at the same time when you do the debrief okay, and perfect. at least three of the four need to be wildly enthusiastic but hang on so during the interview all four together in the room or no, that no. you do separately you do separate so it's okay. four separate interviews okay. of at least an hour and an hour and a half very structured yeah, yeah. Uh, and then after the day the four people get that them together get them together they debrief together so they don't bias and then you decide yes yeah. but it's worth it because if you hire if you yeah. hire an average salesperson, yeah, you, stick, you stick to it and it costs yeah. even more than a normal person. One of the things I do with, with very senior profiles is of course that, but I, I also ask them to present something because I want to uh -huh. see how their brain functions. Yes. And a lot, I mean, one of their day jobs is to present. And I'm always amazed they never ask this to people. So when they yeah. then show up to the work, they don't want to, and I'm like, dude, I mean, yeah. so I would, Typically also yeah. ask them to, but that's within yes. the interview process. But that, that, I'm 100% with you. In your interview process, when you, ha you ask them to present, make it very dynamic. Yeah. Ask them to yeah. present something. Ask them to talk about their most difficult moments where they didn't sell anything for three yeah. months. What did they do? What techniques yeah. did they use? Yeah. And, and one of the things I, I, I learned is to ask them questions that you're struggling with yourself. Where do you find the best other salespeople? Where would you go and look? Yes. And they come up with crazy ideas and I was always listening. Oh, yes. that I never thought of that one. Yes. Okay, really good. So you do the interview. You, so that's we, the starting we, point. That's yeah. a starting point. Yeah, yeah. We deep dive in technique. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And then? So, and then, uh, I, so for, then typically you have at least good people that you hire. Yeah. And then the team plays in, into part because the salesperson, different mechanics, yeah. different mechanics, of course, depending on what you sell. Sometimes you have more individual salespeople, but the, in the end of the day, it's still a team sport. Yeah, It's still a team sport because you share accounts or you ask another colleague, what would you do? Let's go together with two. So therefore, to, to enable a perfect team sport, you need to have a common goal and also common incentives. Yeah. Or a common enemy, which you sometimes Yes, see, if yeah. you have which only in the, and, and incentives come into play, if you only have individual incentives, then it's more backstabbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah because one of the questions too. I noted, I said, I got to ask this question is, in, in the last 20 years, I met a lot of sales divas, like real, mm -hmm. real egos, and they were extremely good in selling. They would do the major, major deals, mm -hmm. but we always struggled. We would almost start an organization separately to, to host these people, yeah. and then they would do the deal, two years later they would be gone. Is that yes. something you want, you don't want? Does it work? Typically, very large organizations are looking yeah. for these people. But 
smaller organization can be wrecked by those people. Yes. I mean, how do you deal with it? How do you give feedback to somebody like that? <laughs> I'll answer two questions <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> you see who's structured I, in this conversation. I'm going to go with the first question <laughs> yeah. first. I compare it sometimes a bit with a soccer team. When you have a soccer team, you have strikers, you have midfielders, defenders, and a goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. I think salespeople, you also have different types of salespeople. Yeah. And that's why that's important. You have the strikers who really want to score the goals. The classic hunters, yeah. But yeah. you need to have salespeople who are potentially a bit more humble, prepare the field and give the pass so that you can score the goal, the midfielders. Yeah? And then mm-hmm. you also need sometimes defenders. So you need to find a really good mix and a good balance. So also yeah. in your hiring, you need to find that. Which is def- difficult. I know you still have question two to answer. Yeah. If you have start and you have only one or two sales, it's extremely difficult then. Because if you have yeah. more, of course you can balance more. But if you're yeah. small, I mean, you yeah. probably need to hire different people than when you grow. <laughs> when you're very small, uh, you. It's, it's very difficult, but you, mm-hmm. I mean, there are people that can be end striker and midfielder a little bit. You have yeah. to find a bit more polyvalent. It's more the generalist type the generalist of sales, type and as, sales, as time progresses, you then go you have more segregate segregation segment. for specialists. That's, yeah. that's my experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the second question? Feedback to a salesperson. Oh, man, he's good. Uh, feedback is the thing that he's I love, really of good. course, as a people person. You see, we, and we you have a team over there that normally yeah. starts complaining, starts doing. They haven't said a word yet, so it means they're actually properly interested and by the way guys i think you're thirsty oh here you go oh thank oh, you okay yeah wow. well why not okay good good is that a message that we need to be a bit more uh, outspoken yeah i think uh, uh, <laughs> i think that's the idea <laughs> before Thanks. we go on a different show here it's thank a different you. show yes mm. <sighs> divas and feedback sales divas <laughs> is the classic image you have of deal makers, the, the hunters. Well, first of all, I don't think they're always divas. No, 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 I agree, I agree. But um, I, for me, giving feedback to a salesperson, you need to be even more clear and use clear language and be to the point. There's no time for sugar coating or whatever. Say what you need to say and they will and w- sometimes be a bit defensive in the beginning, but ultimately it actually sinks in. And when do you say it? Immediately? Or do you, do you have like a... I used to have a boss that every Friday around five o'clock, he would phone yeah. me and would say, hey, great w- week, Michael. And he would give me suddenly all the bad stuff I've done. Mm. You got to improve that. You got And he always did it on Friday. And then he said, yeah, it's good because then you think about it in the weekend. Said, you screwed up my weekend. Yeah, because I can't thing. act and I really, yeah. I will never do that. So Monday not morning a is, a, is a bad time to be around me because I will tell you then and then you have time to improve it. I, I, I don't believe in a real moment. I think you need to give feedback yeah. quite instantly. Yeah. So ideally you give feedback directly unless you know from yourself that you're very emotional and then let it yeah. sink in for a few hours and then you give the feedback. Yeah. When you give the feedback, always ask. Are, if I need to give you feedback, Michael, are you okay that I give you a piece of feedback now? I you always ask permission. Yes, and the reason why, because you will say, I'm not in a good mood now, can we talk in two hours? Good. Or you're going to say yes, and when you say yes, you your agree. defense mechanism shuts down. You, you know the brain has two different ways of thinking. Yeah. Your fight, flight, freeze will shut down, and you will yeah. actually say, I'm open for feedback. You will be less defensive, and you will be more attentive and actively listen to what I have to say. Um, Team, you ready for some feedback now? Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I yes. don't think so. I'm going to drink a bit more and then I'll be I will perceptive ask, for I will feedback. Ask you, I will ask yeah. you after the show. <laughs> so uh, one of the yeah. other topics that, that is like a, a hot potato, it's mm-hmm. incentives yes. and commissions and, and, and structure. And before I start, because I had a lot of experience with what works and what doesn't work, and I had the most crazy commission schemes where nobody had a clue what... Yeah. So I'm wondering, what's, what's your opinion? The simpler, the better. Because if you make it complex, it's like the taxes in Belgium. Everybody finds somewhere a hole and a thing, and then you're, you're busy with all of that instead of busy selling. Yeah. So the simpler, the better. Yeah. I have seen an organization who had literally nothing about commissions. They yeah. just had one pot of a common objective and a common incentive that they shared. For there. the whole company for, or for a team? Uh, for the whole company. They had a whole thing for the whole company and then sales received X percent and then oh, yeah, I like that. the other functions received Y percent and it did work. 
It doesn't always work like that. It I, did I, work. I think it, I think it's it also depends a bit on the product or the service you're selling. Voilà. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. otherwise, even if you have uh, individual incentives, I'm not against it. I think it's good to have individual incentives. Yeah. It's good to have some team incentives, but simple, simple, simple. The, one of the things that comes back to me a lot is when we hire somebody, typically sales has an on-ramp of six to eight months before they can yeah. sell larger deals, right? I'm not yeah. talking about small and fast. What do you do? Do you already give them some type of quarterly commission because that comes back? Quarterly yeah. commission on the knowledge they need to build or on the steps they need to make? Or would you suggest no, wait until they can hit the home run? That's yeah. something very pragmatic that, that comes back. I mean, I think every week somebody asks me a question about I'm, it. I'm in, again, my answer is just one of the answers. There's no science mm. uh, towards it. I'm a fan of giving also incentives in the progress and the steps you're making. Yeah. The it's way not to get only, there. Yeah, it's I not agree. only purely the KPI yeah. you're doing, but honestly, if after three, four months, you're already next, but you know what it is, you have the team around it, it works. I make the anecdote with a bamboo. We all know bamboo. A bamboo, it takes four or five years that it's growing under the soil. You don't see anything, and yeah. then suddenly it grows. With some salespeople and with some products, you need to actually build a very strong foundation before you really sell. And, and if you only make the incentive for the thing that is visible, uh, in the long run, you lose. Yeah. So you need to be take, uh, thinking yeah. smart. I'm, I'm fully. I, I like to incentivize the way to get somewhere. A, a very meta topic, and I see that in some uh, tech companies that are selling technology or in, yeah. within the HR slash people space, is they talk a lot about sales culture. So my yeah. question is very basic: is like, is there even something like sales culture? And if so, how do you build it? How do you manage it? How how do you do? How do you deal with yeah. it? Um, I'll actually talk about Accent Jobs <laughs> okay, if you want perfect. to. Yeah, yeah, go on. Uh, for me, I've had the chance to work with them for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. They have an amazing sales culture. It's only about sales culture and customer culture. Mm -hmm. And everybody is thinking about that. Even HR people, even support people, it's only about that. And uh, you can be against it or you can be a fan of it, but in the end of the day, it actually works. It's actually clear. And uh, they so know how, what they have to do. How do you do. build it if you would break it Incentives down? Incentives are aligned to that for everybody. They, when they meet, uh, they talk about uh, customers. They invite customers there. Their salespeople, they get trainings every two months. They, they, they do. To talk. They, we have a dog here who's snoring. <laughs> I was he fell asleep. Is it must be dog? so interesting that he fell asleep. That was, is that the dog or is that the little one? <laughs> yeah, it's the dog, I think. <laughs> um, so... But they, they, and it's not the only company, it, they breed sales and that's what counts. It's yeah. very clear. They align so you would everything you advise, would you advise a company, because we talked about growing sales, would you advise a company to actually try and inject some sales if you want I, that? It, it's very good because it, it, you, you put yourself much more as a, a, in the shoes of a customer. You think about the customer yeah. and in the end of the day, the customers are really happy about it. Eh? Think about your big corporates that you want to call and you always have somebody on the line for so long because your internet or whatever is not working. They have not a sales culture at all or yeah. a customer culture. True. It's, it's true, true. super annoying. Yeah. And it's, it's especially what comes back is customer centricity and where speed, you put the customer yes, and, and speed. speed, speed. Yeah. Uh, SLAs. Uh, in, in, speed, yeah. just answer quickly, go yeah. for it. Uh, One of the stupid things yeah. that I never understood is if I go to a local shop in the local community where I live, the only thing those people need to do is, of course, have a good product, uh -huh. but two is smile and be friendly. And sometimes I'm yeah. like going in and like, how can you not be friendly exactly. to me? And I just don't get it. But yes. a lot of companies do the same. They don't realize, yeah, hello, who is this? Or just not answering. Voilà. Or if you don't know the answer, at least say, I will help you. I yeah, will yeah. find your connection. You are helpful and it's okay to not directly have the answer. And, and even I'll call you back in two hours and even then say, I'm still figuring it out. But that's Just okay. doing the movement. Communication, communication. Communication, yes. communication. And with that, my dear friends, <laughs> with that communication, big thanks for coming to the show, Bruce. Thank you for we'll the invitation. Have our glass. Yes, thanks. Cook, cook. Yeah, I'm not sure that's not something else. Voilà. Casual day in the office gone. Uh, Casual day with a dog and a thing. Flotjes, huh? Super. Tok, tok.